Hi, we are a group from York St John University studying film and TV production. I'm Steph, I will be the director. I'm Meg and I'm going to be doing production design. I'm Heather and I'm going to be the editor. We also have Luke and Elle behind the camera who will be doing both sound and uh, cinematography. Uh, we will be creating the movie Haste. After the recent trauma of her son's death, a mother desperately searches for the answers as to why he murdered 10 children as well as taking his own life. We watch as the mother replays the news report on her tape recorder again and again, trying to search for any form of answers within it. We also watch her compose a video similar to how this one is shot, just trying to figure out, reminisce through her memories as to where it all went wrong. So overall, the theme of the film is really sombre and quite depressing and dismal. So we watch to address the um, underlying message in quite an appropriate way. Um, the film itself is going to be really dark, we've got dark and cool toned visuals and a cool tone colour palette. The pace is going to be alternated between fast and slow as the mother switches between the past memories and present day. Um, we really wanted to integrate some fast movement as well as slow to really emphasise the confusion and the panic that the mother's experiencing as she's trying to figure out what's really happening and also to support the title of the film, which is Haste. This video is not only to explain the concept of the film, but also to ask for any donations towards our budget. Uh, crowdfunding like this is really important for student films because obviously if we were funding it ourselves, we wouldn't have that much money, but it helps us create a film that we're really passionate about as professionally as we can to the best of our ability. Um, so the budget for this film will go towards wages for the actors. We've got two actors, um, so it'll go wages for them. Um, as well as buying like miscellaneous props that are important to the film, like the tape recorder that was mentioned before, also like catering on set and travel expenses. Any donations will be massively appreciated. Um, and as a thank you for all the donations, we've got a couple of rewards. So depending on what you donate, um, it could be either a digital download of the film or a poster or a, an invitation to a private screening and wrap party, which will hopefully be really fun. <laughs> um, so. Even if you can only donate a pound, it will be massively, massively appreciated because without any donations, we wouldn't be able to make a film. We found multiple short films and series and feature length films where we want to draw in those inspirations and the way they shoot, they edit, they colour, they light. We want to use those as inspiration and make the best possible film that we can. A main part of our film is going from the past to the present and we really want to highlight those differences by doing different ways of shooting and how we edit. So we also use these examples as a way to explain how we are going to approach that. Well, it was freezing, right? So I got out of uh, the bathtub and wrapped myself up in blankets and I, and, and I slept. Uh, Cause any problems? You ate this place like me. Suttered and then or continuing to watch the live coverage from our sister station KCNC. On the phone with us right now is Deputy Robert Baker. He is with the Jefferson County. Uh, we would like to thank anyone who has watched this video and we'd like to thank in advance any possible donation you could give. Even just a pound will go such a long way. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs>